Cowboys need Dak Prescott more than Dak Prescott needs the Cowboys. From a business standpoint, they have to play nice with Dak because Dak has all the leverage. Can't franchise tag him. He has a no trade clause. He's hitting the cap for a crazy amount of money. Dak Prescott not only has the leverage from a business perspective, but also from a production standpoint. No doubt, no doubt, man. So Brandon Marshall is right on the money with that. You're talking about a $60 million cap hit. So the Cowboys are going to have to do three things. Either stay where they are at and not make any movement as it relates to uh, free agent pieces or restructure what they got, even though they're heading into the voidable years of the contract, which will hit even more down the stretch or extend him ultimately. Those are the three moves that the Cowboys can do. Now, $60 million is $60 million, especially uh, with a cap hit. Now, I do know that a lot of people are saying that the Cowboys should trade him, but they're not listening. You got a no trade clause. And here, here's the other thing that people fail to realize. What are you banking on? I get it. We want playoff victories. We ultimately want a Super Bowl. But are you banking on that Dak Prescott is going to play less than what he did last season? He's going to either play the exact same of what he did last season or better. I don't think that Dak Prescott is going to get worse at this spot of playing football. So even if he plays better, there's still that no trade clause on the contract. And on top of that, ladies and gentlemen, even if he stays the same, the price tag will still just increase. You're talking about over 4,000 yards. You're talking about over 30 touchdowns and less than 10 interceptions. Even if he do that, that's going to still drive up the price. It's crazy. The only thing Dak Prescott hasn't done is win a Super Bowl. And last I checked, there's a lot of legendary quarterbacks that never won a Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. There's a mm -hmm. lot of legendary quarterbacks like John Elway that didn't win a Super Bowl until the last two years of his career. John Elway was done. John Elway had duct tape wrapped around his <laughs> elbows and knees and hips to keep him on the field. Like, duct tape? <laughs> well, maybe I'm exaggerating that part a little bit. Tape was holding him together. And at the very That's end of nice. his career, he wins too. So there's still a lot of football left for Dak Prescott. He has to win and winning cures all. And if he does, he can find himself amongst some of the great, he could be a potential Hall of Famer. Look at the numbers. I'm not going to bore you guys with all the numbers. You guys do your own freaking research. Dak Prescott, through eight years, compare him to Drew Brees, Tom Brady, Ben Roethlisberger, add others in there and see where he matches up. It's identical or in some categories, even better. Shout out to the Paper Route Podcast and shout out to B. Marshall. I, I would say this, all of those guys that he mentioned, they did lift up a Lombardi trophy. Now, granted, uh, I do like the John Elway piece, and I know there will be somebody saying that, hey, John Elway at least won playoff games, got to the Super Bowl to ultimately lose. And yes, on the tail end of his career, he didn't win that Super Bowl until he had yellow teeth. But we can all know that, hey, with that team in his last two seasons, he had an unbelievable defense and he had a Terrell Davis. So that's a whole nother conversation of peace. Now, my guy, Outlaw Cowboy, he did bring up uh, this wonderful piece, man. And I'm going to read over this. And basically, Outlaw Cowboy, check him out on the Twitter page. He says, Dak Prescott no longer holds all the leverage. Let me explain. Hear him out. Prior to the cap explosion, the Cowboys were around 19 million above the cap. After that big jump, they are merely right at $10.6 million over the cap. With just a CD Lamb extension, now they will be roughly three million dollars under the cap. Throw Zach Martin and Trayvon Diggs restructure, and that will jump up to around $23 million under. If they are planning another quiet free agent, right, which they normally do, it's plenty enough for them to skirt by without having to extend Dak or extend slash restructure any other player. There's an actual exit strategy from Dak for the Joneses. Now, should they wish to take it, but will they? All right, so the exit strategy is this right here for my guy, Outlaw Cowboy, is to just play around with C.D. Lamb's contract, give him the money, and as well as with Zach Martin, as well as with Trayvon Diggs. There's plenty of skin left 
on those particular deals where you can add in and spread some stuff out and then you can look at it from this perspective and say hey we got a Trey Lance down the, the pipeline we got a Cooper Rush still here or whoever they go into this particular draft and draft the Cowboys do have that in their back pocket, which will be an extra strategy for them. Now, granted, it goes all the way back to what I said earlier. Do you guys truly believe that Dak Prescott will play worse than he played last year? I truly believe that he could either give you the exact same thing he did last year or better. And with that being said, his price tag is not going to go down. So ultimately, that's what the Cowboys may have thought even way back in 2018 after they let that contract go all the way to the end of life there and then said, OK, let's put him on a prove it deal in 2019, which ultimately which finished that particular season eight and eight. His numbers were still good and his numbers were very much so up there with a Jared Goff with a I want to say Carson Wentz and all of those boys and they decided to franchise tag him and now uh, a few years removed we are back at that same spot now people say insanity is doing the same thing over and over again expecting different results I'm always telling people everyone have a reason but results are what matter I need to know from you all because I already gave you guys my piece with this. I think that the Cowboys, if they got one foot in, one foot out, they should have ultimately let Dak Prescott test the open markets, see what market value or see what rate that he would have gotten back from there and then put the trades in for him to get out of here. I look at Dak Prescott like the Matthew Staffords of the world, right? 12 years with the Lions, didn't do anything with them. And then on his 13th season, he goes over to the Rams and ultimately lift up a Lombardi trophy. But neither here nor there. Post me your thoughts. Post me your concerns with Dak Prescott. If you team Dak Prescott stay and you extend his contract, use all of the money and the resources there. Or you could be team use the exit strategy that my guy outlaw cowboy just exhibit and exude post me your thoughts post me your concerns down below and shout out to brandon marshall on his thoughts of dak prescott and salute to outlaw cowboy for saying hey he don't hold all of the leverage i love it texas hold him baby that's been my time i really thank you all for yours and remember you're listening to nothing but the best go cowboys